What's up guys? Welcome back with another fun episode. Ah, it's so refreshing that there's a court system that actually works and and it's in uh, favor of the people. So what do I mean? So you know how uh, Biden has put in this mandate on everybody and his mother to to get vaccinated and all that stuff and you know try to do everything by force and um everything that he's done thus far with the vaccination it's unconstitutional all you have to do is put on a good message why do you have to force people this is a free country meaning people have freedom of choice if you want to make a choice you make it on your own don't force it on people so he puts his mandate on Oh God, I can't stand that flag. Uh, and uh, what happens is he was pushing OSHA to make it into a regulation for companies, a uh, hundred people or more to mandate the vaccine up on their employees. So last Saturday, what happened was the Fifth Circuit Court put a hold on Obama's vaccine mandate. And a couple of days ago, the Federal Appeals Court declined to lift the stay on Biden's workplace vaccine mandate. No one's talking about it. No one's reporting on this. No major network has reported anything on this topic. No one's talking about it. They're still in denial. They're still in denial, these people. So, uh, what does this mean? It means companies are not forced anymore. Well, th Here's the, they were not forced to begin with. They made them scared. The, the the federal government scared used a scare tactic that if your employees are not vaccinated, you're gonna get fined. Up to seventy five thousand dollars. And what did the companies do? Out of fear or out of ignorance, I don't know what, they started saying, Hey, you need to be fully vaccinated in order to work in, in this company. Now, some complied, some didn't. A lot of people left. We saw a lot of nurses walk out. We saw a lot of doctors walk out. We saw a lot of construction workers walk out. We saw a lot of people just walk off the work workplace. And now, with this, uh, with this ban on the mandate, they're no longer going to get these fines, meaning employees can still work without the fear of losing their job. Now here's the kicker. Companies can still change their requirement to make it a requirement for people who work there to be vaccinated. But the whole purpose was he was waiting for OSHA to put this uh, as a guidance. OSHA has nothing to do with this. This is not a hazardous environment. There's not, there's no nuclear uh, 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 particles in the air. OSHA was not designed, or they don't have the power to use emergency power to make people get vaccinated. If that's the case, then everybody who applies for a job needs to show the list of all the vaccinations and the shots they've gotten since they were children. That's what it's going to turn into. Why only this one? Why only COVID? Why not for measles? Why not show your uh, cancer treatments? Why not show all the radiation that you went through? That's the whole point. If, o if OSHA is going to come in and you know exercise their emergency uh, powers to mandate or require companies to show vaccination proof for just a single virus versus all the other viruses that are out there that will include uh, AIDS, that will include measles, that will include chicken pox, that will include just the regular flu. What's there to stop them? What's going to stop them? So, this is actually great news. With uh, with with the circuit court, fifth circuit court coming in and putting a halt on this, this is this is actually news. So, so let's let's read this real, real quick. Um, 
Uh, federal court declines Friday to lift its stay on the Biden administration vaccine mandate for businesses with 100 or more workers. The New Orleans-based Fifth Circuit, Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeal, granted an emergency stay last Saturday of the requirement by the Federal Occupation Safety and Health Administration that those workers be vaccinated by January 4th or face mask requirement and weekly tests. Uh, lawyers for the Justice and Labor Department filed the response Monday in which they said stopping the mandate from taking effect will only prolong the COVID pa- COVID-19 pandemic and will cost dozens or even hundreds of lives per day. But the appeals court rejected the argument Friday. Judge Kurt D. Uh, Inglehart wrote that the stay is firmly in public's interest from economic uncertainty to work uh, workplace uh, strife the mere specter of the mandate has contributed to untold economic up upheaval in recent months oh he's using big words man i can't even pronounce this i'm an immigrant sorry <laughs> <laughs> At least 27 states have filed legal challenges in the last six federal appeals court. After OSHA released its rule on November 4th, the federal government said it in its court filing Monday that the case should be cons- consolidated and that one of the circuit courts where a legal challenge has been filed should be chosen at random on November 16th to hear it. Administration lawyers said there is no reason to keep the vaccine mandate on hold while the court where the cases ultimately land remains undetermined. So, guys, the Fifth Circuit Court has a point. Uh, I don't think this virus is going to go away, to be honest with you. This is here to stay. If we're going to continue the shutdowns, or if we're going to continue the lockdowns, or if we're going to continue to make people's life miserable, um, then we can't, we can't live. Even the CDC came out and said that people who have natural immunity don't spread the virus. This is per CDC. This is not me. I'm not giving you any information. This is a disclaimer. I am not giving you any health information about COVID or anything related to COVID. I'm just... Providing commentary on the material that's already been reported. So this is not my uh, uh, suggestion of anything. This is CDC saying it. CDC's website. You can go to CDC's website and I will link it down below just for confirmation. So what do we do from here? Where do we go from here? I don't know. If companies are going to continue uh, mandating these kind of ridiculous stuff, we're going to have a lot more unemployment. Uh, we're going to have a lot of people uh, lose their job. Uh, homelessness is going to increase. Uh, eventually, we're going to turn we're going to turn into a socialist country where basically everyone's on welfare. If you get the money of all the rich people in the world, everybody I'm talking about, all the billionaires, you can't end world hunger. It's just not going to happen. Where Elon Musk challenged the, God, I forgot his name, the guy who said we need $6.6 billion to end, <laughs> to end hunger in America. <laughs> Elon Musk said, hey, if you show me exactly what you're going to do and put it in open source, basically everybody sees where this money is going, he'll sell stocks and fund it. That's exactly that. And they shut up. They shut their mouth and went away because these people scam everything. They steal money. Anyways, you know what to do, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Put your comments down below. Let's see how this is going to end up for us, guys. This is this is a this is a fight for our rights as American citizens. We have the freedom of choice. We can make our own decisions. If we are mentally unstable, then that's a different story. But as adults, anybody who is working a normal functioning individual, this is our choice. We can make our choices based on knowledge that we gain based on research so uh do your research talk to your doctors whatever you need to do um don't take my word for it i'm just here you know making a video 
Um, anyways, guys, put your comments down below. Peace out.